Hello and welcome to 5 minutes about ADHD and autism. Today I will uh, talk about um, the misunderstanding about if you are allowed to touch a kid with ADHD or autism or not. Um, I have um, I've been a teacher for many years and I'm a mother for to two, two kids with uh, ADHD and autism too. And um, often uh, th their teachers or my colleagues, uh, the neighbor came to me and said, "Wow." Your, your pupil, I've just, I've just hugged him and it was okay. And I say, yes. And all they say, uh, I've, I've just, I've just, um, I've, I've just, he, he gave me the hand. It was fantastic. I say, no, it's not fantastic. It's totally ordinary. But, but there is this misunderstanding uh, in the world that these kids, you cannot touch them on, unless you are very close to them. But actually, it's not true. You can, uh, you, uh, children with autism or ADHD is having it exactly the same way as many other kids. But they have special issues. They might have special issues which they need to train. Some of uh, my pupils or my kids have had this um, touch issue that they need to touch. They are actually hugging much too much. Um, they want to. Uh, uh, touch your ear or your hair, want to give you massage or anything else, but they want, they are touching much too much. Um, uh, or they are hugging even the mailman or uh, the teacher or the inspector, the director, they are hugging them all um, because they cannot find out who to who's close and who's not close. What am I doing uh, with, with uh, different people? And they need to learn it. But it is not true that you are not allowed to touch children with ADHD or autism. But it is true that if, you, if, if your touch came suddenly, if you suddenly came from behind to want to give a hug to a boy or a girl with ADHD, they might be surprised or shocked because they are so hypersensitivity. Uh, they have so much uh, sensitivity. sensitivity in their body that it almost hurts them when it comes as a surprise and almost the same with kids with autism they they are having so much they need to have so much control about themselves um that would you if you surprise them it might be a, a, a big shock for them actually and they might oh or hit you or, or something like that but that's actually the same with all people we don't want to be suddenly touched uh, we don't want to be surprised and we definitely and many people don't want to be um, in a place where they when they don't know when it's over a hug you you are actually stuck you can be stuck in a hug if the, if the people don't let go again and you don't know that if you are having a hug when will he let me go some people like to hug for a long time, very close, and you can smell them, and you can, um, you you cannot get loose, and uh, this can ha give you a, a feeling of panic. So a, a a good advice is to, before you're just touching somebody you don't, you you're not close to, then only use a, a tap on the shoulder or, or a something like that um, unless you can ask them oh can I give you a hug I need I so much want to give you a hug and I, I often do that to my pupils I say, oh I need to give you a hug can I do it and say okay I'm ready and uh, I'm having a hug but the misunderstanding is that you don't think you can touch people with ADHD and autism you can easily do it uh, actually uh, one of my pupils need to learn um, how to uh, find out who they can hug uh, because this boy was actually crying if the cleaner went by his classroom and he didn't reach to give him a hug because he had learned we hug people we hug people to show them we like them and he really needed to tell people that he liked them so he could start crying if he if he couldn't find the cleaner so he didn't get uh, could give him a hug and um, we were putting a lot of um, persons in circles number one 
is those who came in your house. Those people who, who uh, sleep in your house, eat in your house, them you can hug and maybe kiss. Those people who visit you more than once in your house, them you can hug. People who come to, came to your house only once, maybe the mail uh, or the um, uh, some kind of pizza delivery or something, those you don't hug. You give them money, <laughs> but you don't hug them. And we had to do that with, with small pictures and, and, and explain to him, who can I hug, who can I not hug? And it helps him a lot. Um, because it's actually a little bit awkward to run after the pizza man and say, Oh, I forgot to hug you. But every, every kid, also the kids with ADHD and autism, needs to learn how to be physic uh, physical am among each other. And we have to learn it. So, of course you can touch them, but you have to learn why, why how, and when. And that is um, teamwork. You need to talk about it. I, I hope you can use this. <laughs>